So this morning I just noticed that I have an update for my Dell Venue 8 Pro and guess what this is the rare BIOS update. Uh, you don't really frequently see a BIOS update and uh, the last update was A10. I didn't really upgrade to A11 because uh, there were stability issues and uh, what people told us that it gets the CPU speeds stuck at the maximum frequency. Now I didn't want that because it will be uh, very bad for my battery life and as I use my tab for reading, I don't think that's a good idea to uh, go for. So. I just uh, didn't install that update and right now I'm having A10, I'm going to upgrade this time directly to A13. Now it's erasing the blocks. Then it's going to write it and after that it's going to verify that. The process will probably repeat all over again. Well, I guess we'll have to wait this out. Do make sure that you don't remove the AC power supply because if you do that it might interrupt this process and uh, might cause problems and believe me you don't want any problems with BIOS installations. Now it's going to restart. Well, it did enter the BIOS menu because uh, in A12 it didn't do that and people had to do it manually which was uh, troublesome. It seems to restart just fine. Okay, so now we have the welcome screen here, everything seems okay. Well, now everything seems fine, it's okay, the BIOS has uh, been updated and I didn't really face any issues here. Let's check the device manager and see if everything is okay. No drivers really seem to have any issue here. So let's head to the task manager. Well, the CPU frequency seems to be stuck at 1.8 gigahertz and uh, that might not be a very good thing for me because the battery life is going to reduce drastically because of that. Well, as you can see, even when the CPU is idle, the frequency is not going down. It should actually have been around uh, 0.7 GHz, but it's uh, still above 1 GHz. So this means that the CPU frequency is stuck and they haven't really addressed the previous problem uh, that was uh, present in the BIOS A11 update. So I'll have to find a fix for this. And if I do find a fix, uh, I'll let you know in another video. I'll post the link to that video in the description of this video so if you have the same problem uh, just uh, check out my channel and you'll probably find a fix for this soon do let me know in comments how this bias performed for you and if you haven't really upgraded and need some information upgrading uh, do mention that in comments also uh, it will be good to know if i'm not alone here having this issue so uh, please let me know in comments and Subscribe to my channel to stay updated, get the solution to this problem if I have one. Uh, thanks for watching.